fun to show you today how to hybridize day lilies really quick. There's my crazy puppy. Hey, Bria. Are you eating blackberries? Yum. <laughs> okay. Let's see. <clears throat> so, Bria. I've been teaching her. Come here. Bria. Bria. How to run underneath my legs. Yay, good girl. Ah, uh, so you take a supple off. You can see there's pollen on it. And then the stamen is this long piece that comes out. And you're going to take the pollen from another daylily that you like, or it can be the same one. The flowers will just look similar. And you're just going to rub it on there. Then that flower, it's night when it goes um, to die, the pollen will shrink down, go back to the base, and right down here at the base, this will turn into a pod. And you'll know that you got it hybridized right and pollinized because it'll turn into a little seed pod right here. And then in each seed pod, there'll be about six to eight seeds that you can plant this winter to plant this um, coming spring to make more daylily plants. Okay, this is what the daylily seeds look like when they're in their pod. Um, they're almost like little black pearls. And that's what they'll look like on the plants. The other one that says stained glass had been um, in the fridge for a while. Here are some examples of my daylilies that I grew from seed. These ones I will um, register with the Daylily Society, name them after my um, grandma who was a World War II nurse. Check out the Daylily auctions online. You could buy seeds. You can also um, divide Daylilies to make more. They look great in borders and they cut down on weeds. They look great by ponds and they'll just keep going and going. Very easy There's keep. On it. Thanks for watching. Subscribe and like. I'm gonna put it right on the end of the stamen.